Hello, Grievous Rocks peoples. This is James Clem. I shaved my beard because it's gone and I want to feel cool again. Anyway, this is an update regarding what's been going on for uh, quite a while from, with Machinima. This is going to explain if I'm coming back to Grievous Rocks, if I'm staying, everything. We have bad news and we have good news. So, right off the bat, I'm not coming back to Grievous Rocks. That's the bad news because, um, don't freak out, there's a plan B. I'll tell you plan B in a little bit. The reason why I'm not coming back to Grievous Rocks is because uh, YouTube has kind of screwed over the channel because there is a glitch on YouTube. And it's not just me. I looked it up. Uh, apparently there's a content ID glitch going around YouTube and I checked my Grievous Rocks channel and it, I, it, it says you have content ID and a copyright strike on your channel. And it says view videos to view the strike and the content ID claims. So I click view the copyrighted videos. I click it. And it says, there are no videos on your channel. And it doesn't say this exactly, but it says, there are no videos on your channel that have copyright issues. So why do I have a strike and content ID claims? So I looked it up on YouTube. I'm not the only one having this problem. There's a lot of people on YouTube having the same problem as me. So there's a glitch going around on YouTube where it says, you have copyright strikes and you have a content ID claim on your account. Yet I have no videos on my account that would have those copyright strikes to begin with. Yet I still have copyright. So pretty much, Grimmish Rocks is screwed. It's fucked. It's, um, it, it, it's done. Uh, however, plan B is in effect and it is good news. And, um, I still have James Kim productions and that account is in complete good standing. There are no strikes on it. There is no content ID. Everything is green, green, green. So my plan is plan B is to, there's a certain subscriber limit I need to get to, to get partnership with Machinima and I'm almost there. I'm so close. So. I'm going to be uploading content to both James Productions and Machinima Realm to boost some subscribers. And once I reach that limit, I can get to the partnership limit. And I believe I can get there. I really think I can. And uh, once I get there, I can become partner and we can go back to the days of Grievous Rocks on James Productions. Um, the reason why is because I am currently unemployed. And, uh, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, you're only in it for the money. You know, uh, that's not true, first off. I mean, I... I've been doing this even before money. I, I made Metal Rodley Fan 1. I made Grievous Rocks. I did all those videos, thousands of videos. I did a lot of machinima, and I got nothing for it. Why? Because I, I did it for fun, and it was a lot of fun, and it still is. However, I now have a chance to make money off it, and the only reason why I'm pushing it so much is because I'm unemployed. I've gone outside, and I've tried to get jobs, 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 and there's nowhere hiring. I've been looking for a job ever since I got laid off in April, early April, and it's what, mid-May now? No one's hiring. I've looked everywhere. No one is hiring. Not even McDonald's, not even gas stations. There's nothing available. And I have a chance to make YouTube bigger than it is right now. I am with Machinima. I have a chance to make this humongous. And I have a chance to go back to the days of Grievous Rocks where I made Metro Prime 2, One Piece. And I had a blast. I'm smiling right now because I had so much fun making those videos. And I can go back to that and do it like uh, for a long time and I, it, I mean I always wanted to go back and you know and not to mention college for me ended uh last Monday so I've been off college for a few days now and I'm not going back to college till fall so I have about three months of free time which is amazing I'm on uh yeah three months I thought I made an error so I have a chance to make this bigger than it is and I definitely can I mean uh I mean, I got so many comments on Rebus Rock saying, "I want you to come back. I want you to come back." I got even, I got, I, I, bleh, I got, I got even some comments saying, "Dude, I thought you were dead." My uh, final video I made before I made all these updates to return, I have not been dead. I've been on James Productions. You know, I mean, I appreciate every single view that I've gotten. I, I, I'm so happy that people take time out of their life just to go and watch my stuff it amazes me that people appreciate me enough to just like my stuff it, like metro prime one on grievous rocks is over a hundred thousand views the game's been out since 2004 i think i uploaded it in 2008 six years after the game came out i still have over 100,000 views and i think my voice during those commentaries where it was extremely annoying but people love that type of commentary and i'm just like wow 100,000 people, I mean, actually, it's, it's like 120,000, but I'm going to say 100,000 because, you know, people might have watched it over and over and over again. So I'll just say 100,000 people or more. You know how many people 100,000 is? That's a humongous amount of people have watched that video and liked it. You know, that's crazy. Um, and it, it, the real video is like 120,000, but, you know, um, it's amazing, you know. Uh, and I, 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 I could do that on James Productions. I haven't 
I've, I've gone nowhere. I, I've been on YouTube. I just haven't been on Grievous Rocks. The reason why I went to Jameson Productions is because I wanted to start over and I wanted to be a bit more professional. And I do like the name James. I want to like, you know, show my name, you know, James Productions, not Creepish Rocks. I want to be me, not some online user guy. I want to be James Clem, but I still want to upload the same content I did to Grievous Rocks. And I want, I, I think the biggest issue was I want to be more professional. So plan B is in effect. My goal right now is to boost the subscribers on JKP, get it to the limit where I can get partnership. And I'm so close. I'm like less than 300 away. I'm super close. Um, once that happens, then I can, uh, become a partnership on YouTube, and then I can go back to the days of Grievous Rocks. So, for people who are still on Grievous Rocks, I never ask for subscribers, but I have to say this because it's been false information. People, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. If you still want to see me, head over to James Kim Productions because that's where I've been this entire time. I am, Grievous Rocks is right now, again, is retired, but I'm not, and I feel kind of bad because I deleted like 600 videos and they're never going back up again. I didn't delete the walk. I deleted the Deus Ex Machina videos. Good news, I still have them. Uh, I saved them on a backup file, so I can actually re-upload them if I want, uh, or if you guys want, or if you people want. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Plan B is in effect. Get JKP up some subs, partnership that channel, and I can go back to the days of Grievous Rocks on a new channel, James Cooper Productions. I hate switching channels, but that's just all I really have to do. This is all I have left. Uh, the startup line, I don't, I barely have any money. I really do. Um, so I'm trying to make the most out of what I have now. I have a few games. I have Deus Ex. I have a, I, an idea for Deus Ex, making an interactive playthrough. So that means you, the viewer, tell me what to do. Since Deus Ex is play the way you want, you could be a total asshole and give me the worst augmentations and tell me to go run gun into a group of enemies. And I will uh, to make the playthrough somewhat interesting. So it is somewhat live. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing some series on Machinima Realm to get some viewers over here. I'm doing a playthrough of Fez. I recently did a live commentary of the entire Final Fantasy 13 2 Lightning DLC. I'm actually going to upload, be uploading a montage sh soon, but I'm going to give it a few days to, uh, you know, for people to come over. So this is the update. I want to say one more time, Plan B, or an uh, uh, in, 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 in overview. Grievous Rocks, unfortunately, is not coming back. However, the person who is Grievous Rocks is going to be on James Productions. Please come over. You haven't come over already because I'm still here. I'm going to try to make Grievous Rocks what James... I'm going to try to make James James Clem Productions what Grievous Rocks is or was. And uh, I hope you people stick around for the ride. And I hope I can make this bigger than it is. And I really believe that I can make this humongously big. And I'm going to be collabing... Col collabing collaborating with a bunch of people uh people i know like anderson in action and my friend uh, ice hawk you probably have no idea who he is but he's ben goings he's a cool photoshop guy anyway we're gonna be doing this up and i really hope i want this to become big i think i think we can do it i think we can do it and i just want to thank everybody who stuck around uh, who is still subscribed to grievous rocks thank you so much and uh, hopefully we can do something together and uh, hopefully we can make this happen. So if you haven't had, if you have not already, please, please head over to the Jansica Productions because I'm still alive. I'm just no longer on Grievous Rocks. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for Jansica Productions content. Grievous Rocks is reborn into JKP. Thank you for watching. Seriously, thanks.